Let's start in August of 2023, when a shootout at Cook's Corner, a biker bar in California, left four people dead, including the gunman. The footage clearly shows people ducking for cover as the suspect, a retired Ventura police sergeant, opened fire on virtually everybody in the restaurant. The assumed targets were his wife and her dining partner. Deputies responded quickly, and body cam footage shows them engaging the suspect in a shootout. See the night, great pickup, the door open. Awkward. Great pickup, the door open. Great pickup, with the door open. At one point, a deputy retrieves a long rifle due to the distance. Deputies responded quickly, and body cam footage shows them engaging the suspect in a shootout. At one point, a deputy retrieves a long rifle due to the distance, but bullets continue to fly on both sides. Right side of the hill. Cover the right. He's got a... The description matches. The description matches. Right. Behind that. Right, 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 right. No, I got no shot. Which tree? There's multiple trees. The big tree. Left or right? The big tree. The All big right. tree. Right behind the big tree. Big tree? Yeah. By the Jeep? Yeah. He's on the right side, right side. He's behind that. He's on the right the right side of the Toyota. Right side of the Toyota. Right side of the Toyota on the right. Right side? Right side of the Toyota. You got any eyes? You good? Looks like he went down right Yeah. You ready? Oh, hold on. I got you. I'm up here. I'm up here with you. I'm with you. Cover me. He's still there. He's still standing. Let me see you. Yeah, he's still behind the tree. Hands in the air. More and more police arrive at the scene meaning they finally have enough people to approach the suspect. As they converge on the suspect's location, they realize the shooting has stopped. They later find him deceased behind a tree. In 2019, Five people were killed and 21 people injured in an insane mass shooting in West Texas. A man who had recently been fired from his trucking job and had a history of misdemeanors was pulled over by police for failing to use his turn signal. After shooting at police, he began spraying bullets at residents and motorists. There's a shooting going on in Odessa, Texas. Oh god, they're shooting right there. Oh, he hits the barrier. The cop just hit the barrier. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Stand still. He's shooting him, he's shooting him. Oh, he's killed him, he killed him. Oh, he's shooting him up. He hit the barrier. Footage shows the man driving around and shooting people from his vehicle before running into a movie theater where he was killed by police. In Herdon, Virginia in 2021, a gunman opened fire at a crowded bar known as Sully's Poorhouse. Apparently, he had just had an altercation with bar staff, a ruckus that soon grew to involve a number of staff and patrons. This video shows the altercation. Soon after, witnesses say the man walked up to the door, pulled a gun from his waistband, and fired it, shattering the glass. Though nobody was hurt, there were over 100 people in the bar, so things could have ended much worse. Strangely enough, the argument was over whether or not the two men could bring young children into the bar with them.
By far, the most tragic of all mass shootings are those that take place in schools. That was sadly the case in March of 2023 when a shooter in Nashville entered an elementary school and shot three nine-year-olds and three adults. Surveillance shows the armed assailant shooting their way into the front door before stalking the halls with an assault weapon and handgun. The shooter, a former student, was killed by police just 14 minutes after the initial 911 call. Unfortunately, no motive has yet to be found. In November of 2018, a mass shooting occurred in Thousand Oaks, California. Again, this time, the target was a restaurant known as the Borderline Bar and Grill. A total of 13 people, including the perpetrator, were killed in the massacre, who was carrying more than 190 rounds of ammunition as well as smoke bombs and fireworks. No one that's reporting. Yeah. Everybody stay down! I've been, I've been hit. I'm bleeding everywhere. People are running everywhere. My friends are inside. Is anybody hurt? No, we're going to check. Okay, all right, this way, right here. Keep your hands up where everybody can see them. Want to go to the front and make, see if you can make contact with Helis, see if you need anything. Footage shows police responding to the shooting in under two minutes, but the shooter was barricaded in an office where he was still firing into the crowd. 20 minutes into the shooting, the killer took his own life. The apparent motive? He simply hated college students. This insane footage from 2019 shows two men outside a barber shop in the Bronx. The two men had been denied entry to a party and apparently decided that the best way to deal with it was to begin firing randomly at party goers. One of the men fled the scene on a dirt bike while the other two ran. Fortunately, only one victim was wounded. In May of 2021, a 57-year-old employee at the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority shot and killed nine of his fellow workers before turning the gun on himself. The shooting occurred in two separate buildings at the maintenance yard during the busiest time of the day, when over 100 people were inside. Yeah, let's move. Hands on your head. Are you able to open that door for us? Okay. Give me your key card. I got somebody down in front of me. Body cam footage shows deputies entering the facility and moving quickly towards the sounds of gunfire. After entering through a break room, the officers discovered the shooter was already deceased. In 
2022, a mass shooting occurred during a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois. A total of seven people were killed and a whopping 48 people injured when a 21-year-old man opened fire from a rooftop. It's a shooter. Yeah. Footage shows the man who had later fled the scene, sitting in his car near an intersection with police surrounding him. He eventually cooperates and exits the car with his hands up, despite having another weapon just a few feet away. It's rare for mass shootings to end so calmly, but at least there were no additional victims harmed. One of the worst and most confusing school shootings in American history took place in May of 2022 at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. A young man, just 18 years old, fatally shot 19 students and two teachers while wounding 17 others. This came just hours after he had shot and wounded his own grandmother. Footage shows the shooter crashing his car just outside the school, before exiting the vehicle and entering through an open door. Once inside, he immediately began shooting at random. sheriff's office responded but waited a very long time to engage the suspect, giving him the opportunity to wound many more children, most of them between 9 and 11. They later found him in a closet, where they shot and killed him.
A year later, on the other side of the country, a 40-year-old man would go on a shooting spree in the Kingsessing neighborhood of Philadelphia. Wearing body armor and using an AR-15 style rifle and pistol, the man seemingly shot at random, killing five people and injuring two more. Footage from the event shows the man walking around South 56th and Chester, where he fired at least 50 shots. He was taken into custody without incident. Let's leave the United States for a moment and head over to Japan where surveillance video shows Satoshi Uematsu arriving and leaving the facility for disabled people, where 19 people were found stabbed to death. After parking his car, he retrieved something out of his truck before breaking into the building where he committed the terrible crime. At least 26 people were injured on top of the 19 dead. A former worker at the facility, Uematsu later surrendered to the police, and he now sits on death row. This footage is neither violent nor thrilling, but it will chill you to the bone. It shows young Randy Stare doing some target practice while his mother films. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Wow. Holy crap. As he aims his new shotgun at the targets, his mother cheers him on. Little did she know that her son would later shoot and kill three of his co-workers before fatally shooting himself. In 2017, Stare arrived for his late night shift at Vice Markets in Eaton, Pennsylvania, using that very same shotgun. I think this is going to be my last video. The young man had apparently been struggling with his mental health and had become obsessed with a fictional character from a show called Danny Phantom. I fucking hit it! Wow! Oh my god. That was insane. Before Uvalde and Nashville, one of the worst school shootings in U.S. history took place in Parkland, Florida. This footage shows 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz hanging out at a McDonald's not long after he killed 17 people and injured 17 others. During his trial, a survivor of the incident stated that Cruz had entered the McDonald's and asked him for a ride home.
The young man had no way of knowing he was sitting next to a cold-blooded killer who would be apprehended by police just minutes later. That same year, a shooting at a YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California would leave three people wounded and one person, the shooter, dead. In this case, the shooter was a woman who had recently become prominent on social media. For whatever reason, she was very staunchly opposed to YouTube and had become angry that they had demonetized some of her videos. Identified uh, a female in a, in a white shirt. That's the one we have down uh, in the center uh, court area with the gunshot wounded. This footage shows the young lady talking to police who had recently found her sleeping in her car. Oh, okay, so you left yesterday. Oh, just two days ago. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought it was... Oh, you're right. Okay, March 31st. Okay, yeah, you're right, March 31st. Okay. okay. And then you just drove straight here? Why Mountain View? I mean, I know it's a great city and everything, but... <laughs> but I want my fucking police to get out here. Oh, okay. So I wanted to get out of the house of the vehicle. I have to get away, so I don't want to have to... I gotcha. Okay. Okay. Something new. Start fresh? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cryptically, the shooter claimed that she didn't want to hurt herself or others, something that would prove false just a few hours later. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> You're welcome. This chilling video seems somewhat normal at first, until you realize who the man speaking is. His name is Peter Keller, and he had already murdered his wife and daughter before retreating to a bunker. As a committed survivalist, Keller had been working on a hideout in the woods near Rattlesnake Ridge in the Pacific Northwest. He speaks frankly in this video diary about trying to see how long he can hide from the authorities by robbing banks without worrying about his dead wife and daughter. Well, before, you know, a while ago, I used to sit here and think, you know, this whole thing is just crazy at times, and then I'd think about it, and then it would make sense, and it's like, okay, this is what i got to do. But, uh, you know, now, I guess with time, I just think that way all the time that this is what I gotta do to, I don't even question it anymore. It just seems like everything makes so much sense now. While not violently at all, the frankness with which he talks about his actions is truly disturbing. In London, England, several machete-wielding men rushed into a populated area in what was believed to be a terrorist attack. However, the manager of a Spanish restaurant reacted by calmly shutting the doors and barricading the restaurant. At one point, he even slams the door in the face of the attackers, just as one might do with any other nuisance. It was truly a unique way to deal with what could have been a mass murder situation. In the early days of 2024, a man named Victor Bayman followed his ex-girlfriend as she entered a tax preparation office, where he eventually shot the man preparing the taxes as well as a convenience store worker. 
They then carjacked two different vehicles in what seemed to be a real-life Grand Theft Auto scenario. This footage shows police in hot pursuit of the speeding car, which Bayman eventually crashes into a tree, causing the vehicle to explode into flames. He survived the accident and was quickly apprehended. Not all mass shooters get away with their heinous plans. This surveillance footage from June 2023 is a perfect example. It shows a man entering an apartment complex where he grabbed an AR-15 style rifle from his uncle's apartment and began wandering the building. Numerous people walked by him, seemingly taking no notice of the weapon at all. That is, of course, until the man enters the lobby and begins shooting. Fortunately, the rifle jammed, giving a security guard the chance to get a drop on him, hitting the would-be shooter several times and giving the police a chance to arrive and take him into custody. What you're seeing is one of the most famous men in history. Johar Zarnayev was one of two suspects to carry out the Boston Marathon bombing in 2013. Three people were killed during the attack, and hundreds were injured, leading to a fierce manhunt for the two brothers. Zarnayev would later be sentenced to death while his brother was killed in a shootout with police when Johar actually ran over him while escaping. The attack was later proven to be an act of anti-American terrorism. We already talked about Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz, but this footage is far more chilling than him sitting at a McDonald's. It's a recording that he made on his phone, during which he states his plan in detail. In one of the videos, he even shows his face, talking about how his goal is to try and kill at least 20 people. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm going to go take an Uber in the afternoon before 2.40. From there, I'll go into the to school campus, walk up the stairs, load my bags, and get my AR and shoot people down at the main, was it the main courtyard? Wait, and people will die. Hello, my name is Nick, and I'm going to be the next school shooter of 2018. My goal is at least 20 people. 
with an AR-15 and a couple trace rounds, I think I could do a good done. Location is Stone Douglas in Parkland, Florida. It's going to be a big event. And when you see me on the news, you'll all know who I am. <laughs> You're all going to die. Obviously, the calmness with which he discusses his plan to kill students at his school is truly eerie, as are his final words. The Parkland shooter had repeatedly been accused of making racist comments online, but it's still questionable whether or not that motivated his actions. When it comes to the 2022 Buffalo, New York shooting, there is no question as to the racist motivations. All 10 of the people killed in the assault were black, and the 18-year-old who committed the atrocity was a self-proclaimed white supremacist. This footage shows the terrifying aftermath of the shooting, with police patting down the shooter while injured victims and their families look on. Yo. Oh. Wow. He would later plead guilty to multiple counts of murder. The woman crying on the ground was, at the time, under the impression that her husband and daughter were dead inside. Fortunately, they were not among the victims. It's rare that we get an inside look at what's happening with the targets and victims of these awful mass shootings. In the footage, you can see children hiding with their heads down while their teacher guards the door with a bat. The students' relief upon hearing the police enter the room is palpable as they immediately begin making their way outside. This one, this one, this one. Let's go. Hell no. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, right on, homie. Police responded in less than seven minutes, killing the 19-year-old assailant. However, this was not until after he had killed two people. In 2016, a mass shooting occurred during a house party held by students of the University of Washington. The assailant, a 19-year-old man, arrived at the party around 10 p.m. before going in to retrieve his rifle and hiding in the shadows to shoot partygoers. After realizing he was out of ammunition, he fled the area. This footage shows the suspect being pulled over by police. At first, he seems cooperative and calm, but the police suspect he may have a hostage in the car. Luckily, all that was in the vehicle was the suspect's AR-15, which he used to kill three people over a breakup with his girlfriend. 
Step out of the car and face away. Do it now. There's no one in there. I'm telling you. Oof, that's creepy. That thing looks locked, loaded, and ready to go. Hi, Washington State Patrol. Hi. Your homicide suspect? You have him? Yeah. We love you guys. You're welcome. Sadly, she was later determined to be one of the deceased victims. Supermarkets, malls, and schools are becoming targets for mass shooters because they present a large number of targets. That's reportedly the reason why a 21-year-old shooter entered a Coog Supers parking lot in Boulder, Colorado in March of 2021 and immediately began shooting. A total of 10 people would die in the attack, and two more would be injured. This footage shows police apprehending the attacker a Syrian immigrant with mental health issues who believed himself to be the victim of persecution. However, he was later determined competent to stand trial and has, amazingly, pled not guilty. That same year, a 21-year-old man went on a shooting spree in Atlanta, Georgia. This time, his targets were the workers at a massage parlor who he claimed had caused him to develop a sexual addiction. Footage shows the suspect walking into the massage parlor and then going back out to his car to leave. Not long afterward, police show up to deal with the aftermath of the shooting, which left eight victims dead and one injured, most of them young women. He was later sentenced to four consecutive life sentences. In April of 2018, on the 19th anniversary of the Columbine Massacre, a 19-year-old former student crept onto the premises of Forest High School in Ocala, Florida. He was carrying a guitar case that later turned out to contain a sawed-off shotgun, tactical gear, and ammunition. After changing in the bathroom, the suspect shot into a classroom door before dropping the gun and running away. He was later identified by authorities after hiding in a classroom, still wearing his vest. While he was being arrested, he repeatedly blamed his family 
claiming that they all had mental issues. Right here, hold on. Secure. What the hell is that? What happened? What's that? Down on the ground. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. I'm sorry, sir. What did you say? I wasn't raised by the right people. Are you kidding me? Do you have any other weapons on this campus? Do you have any other explosives on this campus? Sir, I put all my stuff on the table behind you, sir. How did you get up here with a shotgun? You just carried it up here? Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? Any one of my family, make sure they don't get near me because they're very mentally ill and very not stable. Do they know you're here? No, sir. How would they be, know you're here then? No, I'm just saying, like, if they find out, they may get violent enough to let you know that they're not stable people. Do you have a mental disorder? Uh, every one of my family is either bipolar or schizophrenic. Okay, are you bipolar or schizophrenic? Uh, I've been to a mental hospital once and they told me I was fine. Though nobody was killed and injuries were minor, the suspect was sentenced to 30 years in prison and 30 years probation. In what's clearly a very disturbing incident, Two female students were shot while riding home from school outside Jacksonville, Florida. The terrifying footage shows the moment a teen opened fire at a crowded bus, hitting two people. Wisely, the bus driver keeps moving so that he can get the students out of danger. Meanwhile, two other students spring into action to call 911 and render assistance to the wounded. In this case, the hero of the story is the driver, Jarrell Anderson, also known as Mr. A. If it weren't for his quick thinking, this story could have ended much more tragically. <laughs> 